guys, what's going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is March 21st, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, the Bear Country announces creation of two new armies. Now, experts say up to 400,000 additional bear soldiers could be called up to reinforce existing forces in the yellow and blue country. All right, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Once again, big things, big preparation for this coming summer. I do believe things are going to hit the fan pretty soon. And uh, again, guys, like I said, uh, somewhere in the mid or the end of spring, or possibly the beginning of summer. So the bear country is creating, uh, announces a creation of two new ground armies. Let me just pull this information up really quick here. Give me a second. If you can, please share this video. Uh, it says here, the bear defense minister, Sergi, said on Wednesday, March 21st, that 14 new division and 16 new brigades will comprise two new ground armies as the bear gov continues its relentless and unprovoked biblical war against the yellow and blue country all right so you guys already know that uh, the bear leader has won the election and let the games begin there's going to be a new operation and this here is going to be huge and the reason why, because there are new ones, uh, NATO soldiers inside the yellow and blue country. They are in there. All right, so. Mm, they're really trying to postpone November. So, again, the bear leader said that uh, this could lead to WW3. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here, guys. And uh, please share the video. Nation against nation, lining up with scriptures. Uh, once again, this is not no fake stuff. This is not a clickbait. This is the real deal. All right, so all this is legit news. So, again, for those that keep saying that, so come on. Stop it. Stop. Man. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with uh, you know people nowadays. Oh, Lord, that's not true. Uh, the go watch the Golden Girls, Happy Days. Uh, they on right now if you guys uh, feel much more comfortable uh, watching them. All right, so it says here, so far, the bear has managed to replenish its ranks of ground forces who have uh, perished, often at a rate of more than 1,000 per day with uh, foreign mercenaries and untrained. <laughs> wow. Woo, they got them in the camouflage too. Wow. So overall, the bear country has more than three times the population of the yellow and blue, making it easier uh, to toast in so-called... I'm going to skip that name. All right, so uh, here's the thing. The yellow and blue country was not meant to, uh, to go one-on-one -on -one against the bear. They're using the yellow and blue country... As a battlefield, when I say day, the sleeping giant, N A T O, they are using that as a battlefield. Do you think they care about the yellow and blue? You think, again, you think they care about sleeping giant citizens? If they did care about the sleeping giant citizens, if they did care about the yellow and blue citizen, they would sit down and dialogue. Come on, it's common sense. When you got stuff flying left and right, they really don't care about the. Uh, sleeping giant, all the yellow and blue. All right, so let's see what's going on here, guys. Make sure you uh, check out the videos I posted today. Those link will be in the comments box. Uh, it says here the the yellow and blue is also having difficulty with standing strikes due to lack of equipment from the sleeping giant. Yes, blame the sleeping giant for it. Notably, from again the sleeping giant upon whom it has been mostly dependent and whose lower house in the legislature has stalled on um, provision for months. Skipping certain pictures here, guys. 
Prepare to be mobilized. They use a cap on this one here. <laughs> Prepare to be mobilized. With the bear leader, we coronation in the bag, and the bear defense minister announces the creation of two new armies. 14 new divisions and 16 new brigades. There will be new units. The bear leader next call up will be for at least three to four hundred thousand. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something is about to hit the fan pretty soon. They know something. They know something. At the same time, uh, yeah, we're gonna have the uh, blood moon in three more days and then april the 8th the great american eclipse and you guys already know the red heifers and so many other stuff so summer is gonna be big all right so it's daily biblical war update said that the heavy uh events continues all right near the this region uh which took the bear nearly 10 years to conquer since the bear and the yellow and blue biblical war started in early 2014. And they have claimed victory. Meanwhile, the sleeping giant has failed in Afghan. We were there for like 20 years, so nothing. <laughs> so the bear uh, experts formation continue attempt to push the sleeping giant and an ATO. So the bear leader said through, oh, excuse me, the bear leader through presidential decrees has illegally enshrined four of the yellow and blue region as part of the bear federation. Uh, again, those are the reasons that were annexed. All right, so invading the bear forces do not fully control any of the of formation regions all right let me take you to this one here that's the end of that one seems like that article was not very very nice <laughs> man it's like they were very upset or something uh this is from Turner Turner is posting something similar uh, once again, this is this is very important information. With uh, the bear winning, the bear leader winning the election, is now getting serious. There you go. That's how you start a news article. Not like the other one that's, you know, most of these articles just uh, whining, complaining. So, um... Once again, uh, the bear leader wins, and now he's getting serious about the uh, the harm being done to the bear by the puntalent and crazed collective NATO and the sleeping giant. So you have Sergi announced the creation of two new armies for the bear, including 14. We already know that. We're going to skip. Hold on. Wait a minute. New division of 10,000 to 15,000 troops each. And 16, uh, 16 new division of 3,000 to 5,000 troops each. To put these two new armies in perspective, what the bear is now crea uh, creating above and beyond its present uh, armed forces is larger than the armies of <coughs> Germany, Britain, UK, France, Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, and all those other region combine. The big question now is whether or not the bear will resort to conscription. Stay tuned. So they're going to have an army that's going to be bigger than all of them combined. Wow. I mean, f for them to do that... Um, Obviously, there's something going on behind closed doors. Then, um, no land will do you know prepare uh, something this big unless uh, there's some serious stuff right in front of their doorstep. Um, again, like I say, guys, I do believe things are gonna hit the fan in the summer. Uh, 
Again, for those of you that have seen the uh, last year, winter, uh, there was not much information coming out because, again, when it's winter time up there in those regions, they don't do too much biblical war. But when winter, uh, uh, again, when spring and summer comes, then it's a big uh, situation. It's, you know, to start launching and all that type of stuff. Now, what they're doing here, they are, they are preparing throughout the entire winter. These two are preparing, all right? So, and this is why I said uh, I do believe something big is going to come this coming summer. So, again, guys, this is big breaking news. Very, very important information is coming out here. Give me a second. Yeah, so a lot of people sharing this uh, story. I'm just going through uh, Twitter right now. Yeah, so this story is going around. So once again, uh, the bear is getting ready, guys. And um, there's been some uh, some stories coming out from Belgorod. You guys know Belgorod is also getting impacted and the bear had to evacuate uh, many young ones 9,000 so that region is now empty it's like a ghost town um, so uh, I do believe that uh, there's gonna be big breaking news eventually uh, all the uh, radio and TV is gonna announce something huge guys so uh, keep your eyes open this biblical war is not over and remember France and others are coming together. Let me bring this up really quick here. I want to bring this one up. Intel claims of NATO troops arriving in the yellow and blue. Let's see what's going on in this one here. Once again, reports are coming out of Central Yellow and Blue claiming huge numbers of NATO soldiers have been arriving in the city of that region. There you go. And that's the reason why the Bears building up those two new armies. Locals in, the, in that area of the Yellow and Blue say they, again, the new ones, the new boots, are settled on the ground floors. Look at that in certain facility. We would like to point out that the process educa uh, educational institution continues on the second and third floors. Now you have many, many parents are very worried about their young ones and certain things that I'm not gonna say guys because of the platform. Are you serious? So I'm going to leave this link in my Twitter page, but give me a second here. Uh, so you have some uh, some strikes are possible, even though these, these boots are hiding behind young ones in the facility. This kind of reminds me of what's going on in the strip. You have that group H-A-M-A-S. They hide where they are innocent ones. So local also say there is no process at night which is apparently when these boots go into action all right so again guys i'm gonna skip this one here but i'm gonna share this link in my twitter page but uh yeah that's again that's what's going on there are reports that sleeping giants nato uh again they're tr you know boots are there in the yellow and blue so, um, again, I will keep you updated on this uh, biblical war. Please share this video. Make sure you check out the video I posted today. Those link will be in the comments box. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, 
Holiday Florida 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I'll post the videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.